Hi children. Now today we are going to try and understand odd numbers, even numbers. What are they? When you play games both indoors and outdoors, some games need two members, some need four, some need five and go on. Okay? So, in choosing games outside, some games are played in pairs with partners. Some are not paired up. So, it, depending on the games you'll play, you will say, okay, these two are partners, these two are partners, we do not need one. So, this one, you wait. For someone to get out and join in. Now, in numbers, today we are going to understand what is odd, what is left out, what is even, what is the meaning. Okay, that's what we are going to try and understand. Odd numbers and even numbers. Odd numbers. Odd numbers and even numbers. Even numbers. And that's what we are trying to understand today. What are odd numbers and what are even numbers? Now, when you are playing outside, Say you have friends, friends have gathered to play games, all right? Now, You have a lot of friends come with the weekend and you want to play. Okay, now, what game are you going to play? What's the normal game you play? Supposing you want to play a game, oranges and lemons. What do you do? You stand in queue, in pairs. You'll hold the hand up, so you've got to stand in a line. So now you are organizing a game. In the field, you are organizing, you have to stand in a line. Two by two. Now, you are going to choose your partners. Okay? So now you have here one friend. And you have another one here in pair. That's your pair. And then you will stand in a line. And then you have another friend here, two together, okay, two friends together, hold hands and then you have two more friends, here's one and here's front. Now, you have here one, two, three, four, five, six. Supposing someone comes running in and says, Me too. Please take me too. I like to play. So we have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven friends are there. And you're going to play what game? Oranges and lemon. How do you? You'll stand in a line, you hold hands up, and your friends will pass through down. And you sing the song. So now here we have. Friends who have already paid, paid up. You have here one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven friends. And you have here one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we have one number left. One person cannot join in. So she has to 
find another partner. Now, we are talking about games we play. Different kinds of games we play. Now, supposing you want to pick some flowers. Let's say, now, let's look at these flowers. One, two, three, four, five. There are five flowers here. Okay, there are five flowers here. Now, what we have done in this is grouping. Okay, grouping. You have group of one, two, three groups. So what we are doing in game is grouping. You have here one, one and two. Got a partner. Three and four. Partner. Grouping. And the one that is left out, we say odd. You wait. We'll play a game. Now, just look at the flowers. You go picking flowers and we are going to group the flowers. Okay? Now you are going to group in twos. You know to count in twos? One, two. A group of two. One, two. Another group of two. And then we have one left out. So, they have, this can be paired, this can be paired, this cannot. Now let's talk about your shoes. Okay, let's talk about your shoes. You have shoes at home, you're ready to go to school, you have shoes and here's your shoes. Okay, now when you talk about shoes, you talk in pairs. Alright, you talk in pairs. Now you have a pair of shoes here, another pair of shoes here. And you have another. Now, when you put on shoes, you always look for the pair. You can put odd shoes and go to school. Odd socks and go to school. Now, you have to school and here you pick the shoes to go to school. And your brother says, where are my shoes? Yeah, these are mine. He's, and then what happened to this one? Then your little sister says, I can't find my shoe. I have one shoe and I don't have another. Pairing. Two. Two. When you pair up two things, you have two books, two, um, two flowers, two. So we have here, we call this two. One pair, here another one, two. Another pair and this one is out odd. So we call these shoes Odd shoes, odd. We have to find the other one. Here you group two flowers, one and two. Here we group two flowers, one and two. And here you have one flower. Doesn't have a partner, I cannot. Huh? Here. Here you have grouped up, one and two. One group, two group, three group. So six friends have joined together and we got three groups. Two plus two plus two. And here you have one out. Yeah, what do we have here? Two friends, then two friends, then two friends, and then we have one out. And here you have two friends, just like this. Two together, we have group two and two, and then we have one out. Same here, two and two, we have one out. Now, what are we talking about? Odd numbers, even numbers. When a number stands by itself. When a number stands by itself without a partner, then we say it's an odd number. Let us look at number 1 to 9. Okay? Now we are going to look at numbers 1 to 9. I'll write here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I have here Numbers 1 to 9. Now, let us look at number 1. The number 1 stands by itself. And so, it doesn't have a partner. And we call that number 1 
odd number. What the number? Odd number. Now number two. Number two has a partner. One plus one, two. One and one, two. And we say that is a even number. Now three. What about three? One and one joined together becomes two. Again one is out. So we say number three is an odd number. What about four? What about four? One, two, three, four. You can be paired up. And so we call that a even number. So we call that a even number. So I'm squaring up the even number. Number that can find a partner, that can be squared up, we call it even number. Now let's look at five. One, two, three, four, five. Two and two and one left out. Two and two and one left out. Therefore, five is an odd number. So I circle here. Then six. Here we have one and two, one and two, one and two. So two, two, two. Six. Six definitely is an even number. It can be squared up two and two and two. What about seven? You have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One and two, three and four, five and six. Again, seven is a odd. So seven is an odd number. Then eight. Now let's say eight. Here, number eight. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. We can one, two, four, six, seven. It can be squared up. So it is a even number. Now let's take number nine. Number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have nine. Here, nine. So this can be paired up. One, two, three, four. And then one is left out. Therefore, one is an odd number. Now, what we have done here is circle the odd numbers and square up the, the number that can be squared up. Two means two people come together. That's an even number. And when we have four, two and two, they are partners. These two are partners, they are partners. Six. When you talk about six, then you have, then you have one and two, one and two, one and two. They can be paired up, so it can be squared up. And eight, when it comes to eight, again, two, 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 two. Remember, we did skip counting. Two, four, six, eight. So now, are you clear? What is the number that can find partner that we call even number? Odd numbers are every other number that ends in one, three, five, seven, nine. They are odd numbers because there's always one left out. So it's like this. One is left out. One, two, three, four, five, six and one is left out. Here, one is left out. In this flask you see, one is left out. Two, can, two and two. This can be squared. One is left out. Every time a number doesn't have a partner, then we say that is an odd number. When you play games like this, oranges and lemon, whatever, when one person cannot join in, then we say that's a odd. You, uh, you wait, you don't have a partner, we wait for someone to come. Odd number. Okay? We will now do an exercise. I'll give you some pictures. You pair up the pictures, count, write, and then you will find out for yourself if it's odd number, even number. When it's odd number, there is always an object or a person left out, standing alone. But in even, everybody has a partner, the numbers can be squared up. Okay? But there are, you can count one floor, two floor, two benches, two chairs, like that. Okay? So now, we are, what we are going to do is an exercise to help us to identify odd numbers and even numbers.
identify odd and even numbers odd or even identify odd or even numbers okay so you going to do it yourself a small exercise for us to recollect okay now now we have some pictures here what we are going to do we are going to group them we we'll group these things we have we have 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 six diagrams are there we are going to pair up we are going to group count in twos you will understand it so now we are going to give each one a pair now let's see now Now first we have here 1 2 3 4 5 mice. We're going to give each one a partner. Now let's look at it. So we have here 1 and 2. Yeah, both of your friends and here we have paired up. So what do we have now here? We have two mice, my two mice and we have one odd out. Poor little mouse. He has no partner. So we have number five. So what do we have here? What is the number when you count? It is five. Okay. Now number five. You tell me now the number five. Is it an odd number or even number? Definitely odd because he doesn't have a partner. It's a odd number so number 5 is an odd number why because one is left out is that clear let's look at the flowers here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 flowers here now what we're going to do we're going to group the flowers 
put them in two groups of two count twos so now we're going to pair up the flowers one two okay then here one two next one two let's count now one two three four five six what's the number the total number six is there anyone left out like this odd no everyone is very well paired up and nothing no flowers left number six is a square number everybody's got partner so number six is a what number is that it's an even number so six is an even it's an even number okay six is an even number all right now next we are going to pair up some leaves that i have there are some leaves here all right now let's do counting in twos let's do some pairing up counting in twos okay one two three four five six seven eight so we're going to pair them up one and two good one and two two partners one and two and one and two everybody's got and no number left out. let's count the total number one two three four five six seven eight so we have your number eight now is number eight odd number or even number no leaf left over it's a square number therefore it's an even number even number now did you understand what is an even number good next we have here one two three four five six seven stars and what are you going to do to the stars we're going to pair up the stars okay now again count in twos one two these two stars together one two and these two pair up together one two these two pair up together aha we have one star left without pair now look at that One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What's the number? Number seven. We have here number seven. Seven stars. So number seven is a what number is that? Because there is one odd one out. It's called an odd number. Very good. So number seven is an odd number. Odd number because there is a number. that cannot be paired up okay now good now let's look at the chairs we have a row of chairs and what we are going to do with the chairs we are going to pair up the chairs okay now count in twos okay 1 2 good next pair of chairs 1 2 next pair of chairs One two, and the next pair of chairs. One two, and here you have one chair, no partner. So now let's count them all. One two three four five six seven eight nine. What's the total number? Nine. We have here nine number nine, and we have. one odd one out there now what is the number here number 9 is an odd number number 9 is an odd number understood odd number because there is a number there is a chair that cannot be paired up it doesn't have a pair okay now we have here some moon I've done some moon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many number? Seven. We're going to pair them up. Okay. Now, one, two. 
one two one two and we have here one left what's the number total number one two three four five six seven again we have number seven so number seven is an odd number there is one moon left there's one left out odd number all right do you understand what is the meaning of odd number even number look at the six the six and eight even numbers they don't have any flower any leaf left over there is you are able to identify are able to pair them up but in 9 7 and 5 odd one there is an odd one out so we say number 7 9 and 5 they are odd numbers hi children let us do one exercise now i'm going to give numbers mixed up numbers we have learned numbers 1 to 100 Now, how will you identify even number, odd number? We have already said one is an odd number. Three, an odd number because it's two partners and one left out. So one, three, five, seven, nine, one. Three, five, seven, nine. All these are odd numbers. So when it goes to twenties, thirties, forties, all numbers that have like eleven, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-five, twenty-seven, twenty-nine, these are all odd numbers. Similarly, in numbers we said that two. Four, six, eight, ten. They are all even number. So when it goes beyond, when it goes beyond that, like twelve, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, twenty-two, twenty-four, thirty-four, thirty-six, forty-four, it goes on. So if you know to identify one to ten, you will definitely identify in all other numbers even odd. So we'll do an exercise. What you're going to do is you will pick the even number and you will circle the odd number. Okay? We are going to circle all the odd odd numbers and tick the even number. Circle the odd numbers. and tick the even numbers even numbers and that's what we are going to do okay circle the odd numbers and you will tick tick the even numbers so i'll give you random numbers okay we will do it five to six sets of numbers and you will see how well you will do it okay you have 7 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 23 okay another set you have 
six teeth, one and eighty-four. Another set, we have five, nineteen, twenty-two, thirty-eight, forty-four, fifty-two, seventy-eight, and eighty. Okay, another set. Nine, eighteen, twenty-eight, thirty-one, forty-three, fifty-eight. Three and ninety-six. One more set. You get four, thirteen, twenty-five, thirty-two, forty-seven. Fifty-four, sixty-one, and eighty-six. Now I have one, two, three, four, five sets of numbers here. Okay, A. This is one set, two sets, C, D, E. Five sets of Numbers at random. Now, what are we going to do here? We are going to circle all the odd numbers. Now, what are odd numbers? Well, cut out odd numbers. One, good. Three, five, seven, nine. So, in all of the numbers, any number that ends in one, three. Five, seven, nine. They are all odd numbers. Very good. Now let's do first circle the odd numbers. We take the first set of numbers. Is seven an odd number? Yes. Very good. So circle. Then here eleven ends in one. One. Very good. So it's an odd number. Very good. Next. Fourteen an odd number? No. Is six an odd number? No. Is twenty-three an odd number? Three. Ends in three. Okay. This is twenty-three. So it's an odd number. Good. Forty-eight. It ends in eight. Is it an odd number? No. Ninety-two. It ends in two. Is it an odd number? No. Seventy-six ends in six. Is it an odd number? No. Very good. So seven, eleven, and twenty-three. There are odd numbers. Let's take the second one. So the rest are all even numbers. Okay. Let's take the second set. Number three is an odd number. Yes. So three is an odd number. Sixteen. Is it an odd number? No, twenty-seven. Anything in seven? Is twenty-seven an odd number? Yes, twenty-seven. Seven, twenty-seven. They are odd numbers. Three, twenty-three. Odd numbers. Okay, thirty-three. What about thirty-three? Twenty-three. Ending in three. Thirty-three. Ending in. Is it an odd number? Yes, thirty-three. An odd number. Is ninety-four an odd number? Four. Ending in four. No. Is seventy-eight. Ending in eight. Is it an odd number? No, very good. Sixty-one, one, very good. So it's an odd number. Is eighty-four an odd number? No. So in the second set, we have circle the odd numbers. Okay. Now third set, number five, good. Odd number nineteen, ending in nine. Very good. Odd number twenty-eight. 
22 ending in 2 no 38 ending in 8 no 44 no ending in 2 52 no 78 and here 80 again 0 that's also an not an odd number now 9 very good so we have 9 odd number 18 no 28 no 31 yes ending in 1 very good odd number next 43 3 ending in 3 very good odd number 58 no 63 ending in 3 very good it's an odd number 96 no ending in 6 it is not an odd number just take the last set 4 no 13 13 is an odd number ending in 3 25 ending in 5 it's an odd number very good 32 ending in 2 no 47 ending in 7 odd number very good 54 is it ending in it's ending in 4 is it an odd number no 61 ending in 1 odd number very good now we have identified and circle all the odd numbers now let's take all the even numbers now odd numbers are 7 11 23 3 27 33 61 5 19 9 89 31 43 63 13 25 20 47 61 now what did we say about the even number they all are partners let's say aloud 2 then 4 say 8 and 10 10 can be squared up so they are all even now let's look at it 14 4 it's a even number no but he left out 6 is an even number it can be paired up 48 ending in 8 it's an even number 92 ending in 2 they can all have pairs okay and finally you have 76 ending in 6 they all can be paired up so 14 6 48 92 76 they are all even numbers they all have partners now let's look at 16 6 they all that 16 is a even number 94 ending in 4 again it is an even number 78 ending in 8 it is an even number and 84 ending in 4 they can all be paired up without anyone being left out 22 2 it's an even number 38 ending in 8 it's an even number 44 ending in 4 it's also an even number 52 ending in 2 it is also an even number and 78 ending in 8 even number and then here 80 ending in 0 2 4 6 8 10 so all numbers ending in 0 they are also can be paired up that is also an even number now in this next row you have 18 it's an even number 28 ending in 8 that's also an even number then we have another one again ending in 8 58 even number and finally we have 96 ending in 6 that's also an even number finally we have number 4 can be squared up and that's an even number 32 ending in 2 it's an even number 54 ending in 4 it's an even number and finally you have 86 ending in 6 even number now what have we done here we circled all the odd numbers in blue and we tick the even numbers in red now any number given all you need to do look at the last number is it 2 4 say 8 or 0 then they are all even number if the numbers that ends in 1 3 
and then 5 and 7 and 9, then they are all odd numbers because there's always one left out. 